Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood, where we have finally returned home to Eorzea. We had a lot of catching up to do with our comrades. Yeah. Yeah, we should head back to Revenant's Toll and check up on everybody. Oh, uh, 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 hi, Admiral. Uh, wasn't expecting you to just suddenly show up, but okay. I'm glad you are here, though. Yeah. That's kind of a problem, isn't it? Well, can can we ask about your stola? <laughs> Or not, mm, okay. So, for some weird reason, we're kicked out to the Aetherite Plaza and not where we just were. Um, okay. But one thing I want to do is. I want to make a pit stop at Revenant's Toll. Um, if you actually stop there, at least until immediately before this, no dialogue. There has been no dialogue changes uh, since right before you even left. So it's not like you can come back and like you know comment and they they lampshade on anything. If I'm not sure if dialogue has changed right now, we're gonna check this. But at least as of right before I started this quest, nothing has been triggered since the day we we left for um Authard in the first place and i don't suspect this will change right now but it's worth checking out nonetheless okay and it doesn't look like anybody has moved okay yeah okay it's still exactly the same all right So there you have it. No dialogue lampshading on. Oh, you Gary told us you were you were headed for Girabanya. I mean, it's all your fault. How you been doing? Have you been keeping every, uh, everyone in line? Yeah, that's why we're here. Well, where is she stolen now? Is she at the Rising Stones? Is she okay?
So yeah, now we see another incident of someone, well, being temporarily knocked out of commission because of magical flashback powers. Okay, so it seems that they don't intend to hurt Kryl, or at least not yet, so... It seems to be we have some time to plan a rescue attempt. But why would they want Kryl specifically, though? What is up with that? Yeah. He feels pretty terrible about it. Ah, oh, crap. I can't forget. I keep forgetting I can't fly in this zone yet. So we're going to take the long way to do everything. Oh, man. I miss flying. Yeah, 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 enough of that. We'll have the hug fest later. Yeah, yeah. Kryle is in trouble and we need to take care of this problem. Oh? Okay. Well, it seems you guys have been doing pretty okay for yourselves. Immediate circumstances notwithstanding. So I suppose, you know, our little encounter with Xenos over on Dome and Soil will have to wait. We got some more pressing matters to deal with over here. Yeah, I don't care if we're on the table for once. We got an emergency here. No, no, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. And trusty sidekick's getting a little impatient behind me here. <sighs> so what are we going to do? Pray, join me in welcoming our Scion allies, but recently returned from their mission to the Far East. We have been most eager to hear a first-hand account of your time there, 
eventful as we understand it was. Very well. Allow me. Wow, she's gonna do the talking for once? Didn't expect that. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. Doma, free after all these years. Bloody hells. Flooding their own castle for a better chance at victory. We could learn a thing or two from that lad. Our agents report a flurry of communications between Garlemald and Alamigo in recent days. It is plain they are in the midst of deliberating their response to the Doman uprising. Good. Every Imperial unit in occupied territory will be on the lookout for civil unrest. The fear of leaving critical locations undefended will make commanders think twice about committing their forces, giving us a chance to seize the initiative. We have a chance, aye. Mayhap the last one we're ever gonna get. While we've done our best to rebuild the resistance, the Imperials have only increased their efforts to root out sympathizers. If we keep on playing for smaller prizes, it's only a matter of time before they crush us again. And that we won't come back from. A swift advance seems best for all concerned. Not least poor Mistress Kryle. Yeah, we need to strike while the iron is hot. Then let us waste no more time. The campaign for Alamegan liberation begins now. Our first objective will be to capture Castellum Valadina. Take the bridge, and the whole of the fringes will be ours. From there, we can push east towards the peaks. I name this operation Ralga's Beacon. For as Ralga once sent his star to guide our ancestors to these lands, so too shall it see us home. Okay, but what's the actual plan? Yeah, who's, who's got the plan? I know who's only been here about five minutes. Least, least, settle down a moment. Settle down a moment. So, distraction. Okay, so we're not actually going to take the bridge, we're just going to try to convince everyone else that we did. Okay, um, not sure how long this is going to last, but... Okay. Not sure why we didn't think of such a thing before, but... Hopefully, at the very least, this will buy enough, conf you know, t time in the confusion of who owns this, who actually is controlling this bridge, that we can do something about it, or split up their their forces just enough. 
that, you know, we can actually take them head on, at least temporarily. Will you stop kicking me out and shoving me places, you silly people? Ugh. How do you know I still didn't want to be at Castro Morian's? Okay, so no one is there. All right. I'm just double and triple checking everything. Okay, well, don't get don't get so excited, Minaga, all right? We still have to get through this. So yeah, we're not actually going to change the flag. We're just going to glamour it to make them think we did. And while I can kind... Uh, no, Conrad, no. Enough with the padding, for Christ's sakes. Ugh. <sighs> But I can understand from both simplicity standpoint and trying to make a gameplay somewhat diegetic, I, I kind of get why just glamouring the flag is just more simple than actually changing it because we need to do this very, very quickly. And yeah, if, if you just come in with a random flag, like, they're gonna know what you're up to, like, immediately, so, I, oh, hi, to you again. So, I kind of get it, but at the same time, if we could always do this, why didn't we do this before? And then there's the other matter of, well, we had Ralgar's Reach glamoured, and that's why the Empire didn't, or at least appearing, uh, you know, appeared to not be able to find this place and invade it sooner. If they got past that somehow during during the raid on, on Ralgar's Reach, why can't... So that means they have some means to detect or otherwise dispel a glamour. Why can't they just do this on the flag too, you know? So like, I get it and it makes for moving things a lot faster and not having to worry about the logistics of everything, but at the same time I also find it equally ridiculous that this is what we've come to. It's 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 a good idea in theory of, you know, just we just need to trick them into thinking that, you know, the resistance controls the bridge now, but it just seems just kind of too easy to do it this way. Yeah, poor Well Red. I was unfortunate to be on that expedition in which he was found, sadly. Well, thankfully that little excursion didn't take too long. I'm not always fond of random people that they can't even bother to give names to, being like, oh, hey, remember me? It's like, no, no, I don't. You didn't even bother to give him a name. Why should I remember? Why should I care? You know?
<laughs> oh yeah, like that isn't just a blatant foreshadowing right there. Now, unfortunately, I can't really get that much behind his choice there. Um, not because I have anything personal against Lise, and again, we'll, we'll go a bit more into her character at the very end of 4.0. For some of the reasons which obviously have not happened yet in, in the narrative that, that I want to clarify on. But my main problem is that we as the Warrior of Light have seen what Lise can do. We know what kind of person she is. But how much of that has Conrad actually seen? Now we know they obviously, after the bloody banquet in between, you know, when she and Papa Limo formally rejoined the Scions and whatnot, they were working with the Resistance. They've, they've told us that in, in the past before. And... I get that. But... Part of the problem is we don't, as the player, don't really see that kind of relationship develop at all. We don't know what kind of relationship Lise as a whole has to the Resistance. And... In lacking that, it just, it just feels very forced that... He wants her to kind of take the reins. Even though, again, he's he said he's he's not yet asked her yet, and obviously he's gonna leave it completely up up to her ultimately her choice to do so or not, but considering she spent most of her time in this expansion so far in the Far East with us, it's Again, it, it just feels very f forced, and not that I don't think she's a good person, and not that I don't think she's, she, she would do a good job in the position. Quite the contrary, actually. But you don't see the natural progression for, uh, for him to come to that conclusion, you know, is basically what I'm, what I'm getting down to. Arnvald, you're a bro. So, apparently, yeah, apparently Monago has a pet griffin that we're just, like, now finding out about. Yeah, let's do this. Lengthy as it is, I'm not going to let this episode just be boring dialogue. We need to do something. We need to take some kind of action. It's begun then. Good. It's the waiting that drives me mad. Standing around, knowing what's to come. I'll never get used to it. Calm down, Nargo. You're making her nervous. We've come this far, haven't we? We just need to make it the rest of the way. Right. Looks like the Busters went for the bait. The bridge is ours for the taking. Now remember, Monago, I want you to make for the tower as soon as you see an opening and get that flag flying. We'll see to the fighting. I won't let you down, sir. Come then. Rolga's star shall burn bright this day.
Well, hopefully she can stay somewhat out of sight, you know, so they don't fire some cannons in her direction or anything. As they, you know, inevitably discover what the heck we're doing. Yeah, we're not even gonna bother sneaking. Just, just kill him. Here it comes. Now oh, that's one of your armors down. I do find it a nice touch, even though if it's slightly annoying, that the machines can't be stunned. It's actually an issue, uh, and I want to say an issue, but feature... I, I don't know what the heck right word we want to use for this in the moment, but... Yeah, their Magitech machines can't be stunned. Which, as annoying as it might be that obviously you can't cancel out their attacks, kind of makes sense, because... You know, they're machines, you know? Like, you just can't kick them in the crotch and temporarily <sighs> render them um, unable to fight back in the pain, you know? Yeah, see, they got cannons. Be careful, Monago. Be careful. I don't know how high those things can fire. Yeah, I literally just said that, Lise, you silly. Take this! Lise, it's a cannon. Like, like I, I appreciate her kind of going out of her way for Monago's sake and everything like that, but but how, how effective are, are punches on <laughs> cannons? I mean, I suppose you could say the same thing for, well, any, any kind of weapon, but... There's just something awkward to be said about just someone punching a cannon until it's non-functional. Like, not even with fist weapons. Lise does not use fist weapons anymore. She fights with literally her bare hands. And that is both badass and completely hilarious at times. Now the rest of you take your sweet ass time getting over here. Well, they're on to us, I guess. So, everyone else is, well... ...distracted. Well, jokes on you. I've seen this move before. I've taken out a couple casters before. From a guy who used a move just like that. And he was higher on the Imperial food chain than you were. You missed. Mm. 
Well, what if I say no and I say it's gonna be my bridge now? Use sure cast. See if that works. May or may not. I'm gonna try that. What new friend? Wait, you already used that on me. Sorry, what was that? She made it. No more hiding! Let's finish this! Look! The flag! A way to give away the plan, Lace. Okay, can that really be heard from that high up? Okay, that arrow went right through him. The bridge is ours! Al amigo! Al amigo! Al amigo! Yeah! ground it's not over yet yeah she's got a point there like damn it let's just stop her from saying no you cheating bastards you know because that's essentially what we just did let them go Lise. we've done what we came here to do that's enough for now we fake a flag and they're just gonna let us get away Everyone just stops dead in their tracks at this. Of course. Philodina is fallen? Impossible. We have them on the run! Forward! No mercy! Regroup! Regroup! We have to regroup! All units! Fall back! Now, like 30 seconds ago, it just looked like you were winning, and now you're just chicken out. Is 
So, how long them prisons gonna last? Commander, the fourth cohort has been routed. We'll be at the mercy of the enemy's reinforcements if we don't fall back now. Idiot! We have the stronger force by far. Don't be taken in by their tricks. Or would you rather tell Zenos you lost to this rabble? No, but if the snakes betray us in the confusion, we'll have no way out. I'm begging you, Commander. Give the order, or we'll all die here. As common traitors who drank of muddied waters, for all the good it did us. School's with me! The day is theirs, and so is this bastard bridge. Someone bring the snake. suppose. It's our first victory, isn't it? And that has to be worth something. Hooray! Victory achieved! And can I see the flag from... Nah, I'm not gonna bother. It's too, it's too dark and foggy on anyway. But that's gonna be it for this episode for now because of time constraints. So we'll talk to everybody and what we're gonna do about this next time. Thank you for watching everybody. I shall see you then.